YouTube, welcome back. So today we're going to show you two methods on how to use your hands on a set of Corsa. Now, yes, that does sound a little bit strange, but hear me out on this. This is probably one of the coolest features I've ever seen in a sim racing game. To begin with, there are two methods of using your hands in a set of Corsa VR. The easier, cheaper method, which involves just having your controller to hand, or the paid method where you use virtual desktop to actually physically use your hands. Let's dive into it. But to begin with, you need to have the latest version of Content Manager for a set of Corsa, which is here, installed. And it's as simple as clicking here and letting everything install for you. Now, once that patch is installed, we need to scroll down the left here and find Mode Tweaks VR. We click on there. We need to make sure the extension is active. Go down to the right here and find Move Driver Models with Controllers. Now, there are other settings here. I don't really mess and play with these, but if you just wanted to find out how to get this active, just go here and find it here. Once we're happy with the settings, it's now time to get into VR and show you how it works. Now, if you're not sure on how to set up VR for a set of course, then we do have another video on the channel showing you how to set it up. There are some issues with it, however, in the comments, some people have got some really helpful advice in there, but as a base guide, it does work. And in three, two, one, there we go. Also, I forgot to mention, once you're in your Oculus headset, you need to make sure you have hand tracking enabled. Now, the way to do this is make sure that you're in your Quest headset without the, the Oculus Link enabled. Go into settings, find hands and controllers, and make sure that hand tracking is enabled. Now, unfortunately, I no longer have a steering wheel to play this game with. However, look, we now have a hand that grips, moves. I don't think you can touch the steering with it, but you can operate some of the in-car controls in some cars. Here we are, finger, a hand, we now have hand controls in a set of cars. So as you can see now, while we're driving the Type R, we can drive along, we can drive out the window, we can wave to all our friends that we don't have. So now that's the free, easy method out of the way. Now it's time to get into virtual desktop method. Firstly, this is the thing that you want to download when you're in your Oculus headset, is the virtual desktop. Like I say, it is a paid for version. It's £14.99 in the UK. So if you want to do this and use your hands, you do have to go through this method, as far as I'm aware. Once that's then downloaded and installed, we need to go to the PC side of things and download Virtual Desktop Streamer app, which is here. If you're on a Mac, there's that version there. So now, once you've installed the application on your PC, I will show you now the settings that you need to have to get this to work. Now, when I first opened this, this gave me a few error messages to change settings. If you can change some of the settings, do so, as it might hinder how it performs. All we need to do is make sure our settings are correct on here. So the first thing we need to do is put on here our Oculus username. It needs to match our Oculus. Once we've done that, we need to go to Options, use the preferred codec of H264, and make sure that all these settings here match what I've got here. So we allow remote connections, we start with Windows, use Touch Input, or select microphone and ask for computer access. Once we're happy with these settings, we need to put our headset back on a little bit like so. And now we need to open up virtual desktop in our headset. Now, once you have virtual desktop open in your headset, you'll see your desktop. Don't worry too much about it. The game will load up. All you want to do is open up content manager like normal. Once you're in the headset, hit go. And once you hit go and start to drive, the game will load up into your headset like this. So now, as you can see, I can use my own hands to control the hands in game. So I can hold the controller and I can wave to everybody as I drive on by down the pit. I wave to everybody potentially over here. I think it's pretty cool. Now, I will mention the quality is a little bit bad using virtual desktop. But if you want to use your hands and wave at people and stuff like that, it is a pretty nifty thing to use. And that's it. It's as simple as that to get your hands working in a set of Corsa. If you are new here and enjoy what you see, please do consider subscribing. Do leave a comment down below. Please let me know how you get on. If there's any bugs you find, I will try to get to your comments and maybe see if I can help. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. We'll catch you in the next one.